Welcome to Rich Nuggets. My name is Ekosa Kestai Bunige. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can start the plastic waste collection and recycling business in Nigeria. Matter of fact, you can also start this business in whatever country you are just by following these steps and principles that we are going to be using or mentioning in this um, video. Um, as usual, we are going to be using our blog Rich Nugget as a background and also reference for this wonderful business idea. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Alright, welcome back. As usual, I said we're going to be using our website, Rich Nugget, as you can see, we are here, richnugget.com. Um, and <clears throat> the topic still remains the same, how to start a plastic waste collection and recycling business. Whether you're doing it in Nigeria, you're doing it outside Nigeria, this is a complete step-by-step -step guide for you on how you can start this business. Um, like I said, um, sorry, um, I see, um, um, this plastic recycling business involves the collection, processing and recycling of plastic waste material and we all know the benefits of removing this plastic waste out of the environment because of the environmental impact and i think i uh, in paragraph two i also want details to to talk more on that aspect plastic recycling is an eco-friendly venture that addresses environmental concerns related to plastic pollution while also providing economic opportunities for you to make money by selling plastic for recycling so that's one amazing thing about this business this business is very profitable and to source your your inventors should i say to source this plastic uh just within your environment so it is very easy to source especially if you're going to be a collector or if you're not going to be a collector you're going to be in terminaries you can definitely um go to where they um this crap here this plastic is crap here they are always popular you definitely see them within the wayside and all that you see a scrap yard of plastic go there and buy from them buy in bulk and they set to recycling company um, anyhow you want to be or any part of the supply chain that you're going to be in this amazing business um we are going to be talking about how you can start this business with seven steps or should i just say in a step-by-step -step guide of there are about seven steps you are good to go on starting this business and without wasting much time um, without wasting much time let's just dive right into the number one step the number one step is to understand the plastic collection and recycling um, business like i said in the um metal scrap collection and recycling business before you go into any business you must understand the business first and this business also be um it's also one of the business that you must have some basic knowledge about it especially when you're dealing with this um when you're dealing in the recycling aspect because um plastic are made of diff um, different chemical components and you don't want to mix um the wrong plastic that has a different or harmful or explosive component with another one um, and i think i gave a note here that some plastic can be recycled together which i just said while others require separate processing due to difference in melting point and chemical compositions okay um you need to know that this business is a very profitable uh, profitable business in nigeria with a market value of over 40 billion dollar it means there's enough to go around for anyone that wants to go into this um, business and um, the average cost that uh, a plastic cost that is a plastic waste per kg the average cost of per kg of a plastic waste is about 25 naira to 30 naira that you can get per kg in nigeria that if you want to buy as, a, as an intermediary that's even not a collector like for being a collector you are definitely going to be collecting it for free then if you want to sell it the price range is normally within 25 naira to 30 naira but the price range is not actually fixed so you know some economic factors can come into play and changes the cost but normally it normally falls within 25 naira to 30 naira per kg of plastic waste um and also you need to know the types like i said you must be aware of the type of plastic so you know how to do the um, recycling especially if you are going to be a recycler not even a recycler a collector because so that you know how to separate the cans also um and among the types of plastic recycling we have about seven types um six types of plastic that are suitable for recycling uh, and number one is the polythene um terephthalate poly, uh, polythene terephthalate also known as the um, pet we also have the high density polythene we also have the low density polythene sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong or rightly i apologize ahead then we have the polypropylene that's the pp then we have the um, polystyrene and we also have the other plastic name or tag good seven so you need to know that um this okay let's just talk about this code seven these categories include various other plastic that do not fall into the specific categories mentioned above so these are the six types of plastic that you must be aware of if you want to start this 
business all right step two is to obtain the necessary permits and licenses you must obtain the necessary permits and licenses especially um since this business has to do with environment it means you must have an environmental license before you can operate in nigeria and if you want to assess an environmental license um for this business then you should assess the ministry of that the federal ministry of environment uh, and also assess national environmental standards and regulation enforcement agency and local environmental protection bodies to secure the essential permits and licenses needed to run this um, business and also apart from this environmental license um, definitely the basic business licenses like the business registration and also the tax and identification number are also, so, are also essential in starting this um, business number three is to secure funding or invest um, investments you need to know that this business is, is a bit counter intensive especially if you're going to go into the recycling aspect you can do a mini uh, sorry a mini recycling um, factory just use like a couple of um, material machines a mini or smaller machines to recycle some product um, for that kind of investment you're definitely going to be needing a minimum of one million naira to start it but if you want to go a bit larger use some standard machinery and all that then we're talking about higher amount of millions higher amount of millions to start that business but if you're going to be a collector for instance you don't really need capital to start being a collector there's several cans um, deposited everywhere so you can just go pick gather them um, and then set them so you don't really need the capital you just need energy because definitely definitely that energy will be needed to go around picking this can so um okay uh, okay i said and then i went for that to even give you a breakdown on how this capital will be spent especially if you're going to be a recycler this capital is going to be spent on several um aspects you know, several ways um, such as the facility setup you need to set up your facility even if you are going to use an open space definitely you need to also set up put some things um in order also procure your equipment uh operational expenses talking about the utilities the labor definitely you're going to be paying your workers because you can't do this business alone you, know, you need someone to assist you so you're definitely going to be paying workers so all those all that falls within the operational expenses uh we also have the waste storage system and we have the marketing outreach and we have the business license and permit so all those um items i just mentioned are what you'll be spending your capital mainly your capital on before you can start this business and if you're finding it difficult to assess to get this um, cash based on your personal funding can um, sponsor the whole process from beginning to to when you start production or when you start selling as an intermediary because as an intermediary you also need capital to start this business then you can also you, then you can source your um, capital for bank loans you can use grants you can also use investors and partnership whichever one that suits you make sure you understand the terms and conditions before you agree on any of these two especially the bank loans and investor um, partnership you must try to understand the terms and conditions all right step four is to set up your recycling facility so this one especially for those that want to go into the recycling aspect you must have to set up your recycling facility even if you're doing it small or you're doing it medium or you're doing it large they are there are step fundamental fundamental step to take when you're recycling or when you're setting up your recycling um business um one of the fundamental steps is to choose an accessible location you need a location that will be accessible for suppliers though that will be supplying you um um plastics you need them definitely you need them to assess you easily so you need um, a location that will be accessible also uh, you also need uh, infrastructure requirements definitely the machine and all that is the, the protection of your machine you also need a shade something more like a factory even if it's going to be small you also need something like roof to protect your machine from being directly um, hit by sun and hit by rain also um, also you also need a um, design the facility layout uh, large enough to accommodate different plastic you need to make sure that the facility is large enough to accommodate different plastic types um, and make sure you have the part of your factory or your facility has a separate place for each different types of plastic so that you don't end up mixing them during the process of recycling them also you need to invest in equipment uh, i think most of them are just um okay equipment and i make equipment very specific like washing shredding and sorting um system but also you also need um you also need to implement waste storage system and then safety measures especially for your employees you need to protect them because this um this is a production just like the metal um, aspect when you're recycling metal you need to be very careful because you can you might end up losing your hand losing your head or even losing your life if you don't take precaution and for that you also need as an owner of this business you also need to provide help 
by providing safety measures to help and assist your employees to help um, mitigate this uh, risk that are involved in the production aspect. All right, step five is to invest in equipment and tools. Definitely, you're going to be investing in equipment and tools, and there are several equipment and tools that are recommended, especially if you're going to be working on the largest um, um, scope, on a larger scale of the recycling business. There are several equipment and tools that you must have in your disposal, such as the shredders, the washers, the extruders, the sorting equipment, conveyors, ground to um, ground donators, magnetic separators, uh, drying equipment, weighing and packaging equipment, safety equipment, tool set for maintenance, control system and software, environmental management system, office equipment, security system, fire safety um, equipment, very important, and also you need to have a training program that we ask, especially for your workers, you need to train them train them, give them the basic tips, especially on protecting themselves from being uh, from having inflicted injuries. So you must have a training program outside that will be giving you, especially your new employees, um, the basic training on how to go about it so that they don't end up um, bringing or inflicting or afflicting themselves with um, injuries that cannot be recovered. So you need to make sure that there's a proper training program ongoing. All right, step six is to develop partnership for plastic collection or plastic waste collection. Develop a partnership for plastic waste collection. Um, as a recycler, you need to develop a plastic waste. Not just, uh, okay, I said collection anyway, but you need a supply, a constant supply for collection. A constant supply. So in order to achieve that, you need to develop um, a partnership with these collectors so you need to develop a partnership with these collectors and make sure you are paying them as they're bringing it not that they are bringing it and you're telling them okay i'll pay you um two days time i'll pay you three days time you end up killing the relationship you need a relationship that when the suppliers when they come they are very guaranteed they're sure that what they're bringing they're getting their money for it and they are also going to get um honesty for it uh, it's not that when the price change from 30 naira to 45 naira for instance they will still be taking advantage of the fact that they are not aware that the kg is not 45 naira so you now want to take advantage of them so most of them revolt when they discover that oh so you'll be taking 30 naira from us when it's actually 45 naira they revolt and you might end up losing um, partnership with, uh, with your suppliers for this plastic um, waste so you must to make sure that you have a positive partnership um, with plastic collectors and also for those um, collectors you definitely you also need to create partnership with those locals around those especially those bars that normally says um this plastic drinks and all that you also need to create partnership with them and say okay please this plastic can i come and be picking them instead of you just throwing them away you don't necessarily have to even pay for them as a collector just go there because you haven't assisted them to reduce their debt their debt so you just go there talk to them, talk to the manager in charge or whoever is in charge. If they don't agree, definitely, then just move on, move on to the next shop. Maybe one of the time when you're passing by, you can also check that down. You see the plastic there. So even if they don't agree, you can still be getting access to the plastic. But yours are in the disorganized, it's going to be in a disorganized manner. But you just still have to create a partnership if you're going to be a collector. And all right, step seven is to sell your recycled products. You must have to sell your recycled product as a recycler. As a recycler, rather. You, you, def you are not recycling to keep it. You are definitely recycling it to sell your recycled plastic. Products. I need to know there are several industries now. If there are many industries that are into purchasing of this recycled plastic um, waste, um, industries industries include the packaging industry, construction and building materials industry. We have the textile and fashion industry. We have the furniture uh, manufacturing in industry. We have the consumer goods production. We have automotive components. We have the food beverage packaging. We have waste management companies. Uh, we have. <coughs> eco-friendly product brands we also have the agricultural sector we have the retail chains we have educational institutions we have the healthcare industries and so on okay and so on and so forth all these industries i just mentioned they are into the purchasing of recycled plastic waste so you can definitely just reach out to any of these um businesses that falls within this industry and they'll be ready to buy from you all right um that's all about starting um the recycling business the seven step i just mentioned the seven um, step for you um you also need to understand that apart from just starting this business there are challenges when it comes to starting the plastic recycling business um, 
among these challenges are the lack of awareness and education. So, like I said, I said many people are not aware of the importance of recycling or negative environmental impact of this plastic waste. So, it is good to also come out once in a while, create awareness, create this education, go to schools and all that. You also do some little educational stuff to help the students. And I think there's even a school in Lagos that actually pays school fees. To know how this uh, awareness program is actually um, going on, some individuals, the NGOs are actually trying to make sure that they reduce the impact of this plastic waste. So, um, there's a school in Lagos, I think I'm right, in Lagos, um, they pay their school fees with plastic. So you can tell you how important and how um, profitable this business is. If a school can actually receive plastic um, can, um, kegs or can as payment of school fees. So um, another challenge is the in the, um, inadequate infrastructure. We all understand how that is. Um, the bad rules and all that that affects the process of um, location and all that. Um, so we also have inconsistent supply of quality plastic waste. We also have the lack of access to funding, which is um, very obvious in the aspects and challenges. In fact, in most business, this is a common challenge, the lack of access to funding. Uh, we also have the market fluctuation and price changes. We have the inadequate regu um, regulatory support. We have the technical, um, technological constraints. We have limited market for recycling products. We have the logistic challenges. We have the competition and pricing pressure. So all these are the common challenges you are likely going to face in starting this business. Whether you're starting it as a collector, intermediary, or even a recycler. Okay. So with all that being said, that's how you. That's all the, um, that is needed to start. That's all the, that is needed to start this amazing business um, called the plastic waste, waste collection and recycling um, business. Okay, if you have any question, leave them in the comment section. Maybe you have a contribution you want to say or suggestion, leave them in the comment um, section. We will always attend to your comments. And also, if you have a um, Okay, I think I've said that already. Um, make sure you subscribe, like, share these videos, and definitely more videos will be coming in. And in case you want to know more about this um, business idea, if you want to assess the article, just go to the description below. The link will be there for you to click so that it will take you straight up to the article, and then you can read um, more on this article because we, we didn't actually talk about the environmental impact of this plastic waste, and we didn't talk about the recycling process of this plastic waste, so that the video will not be that long. So you can just come in and just go through them. I'll show you this business is an amazing business and it is a very lucrative business to consider. All right, until next time, see you.